Okay, we're going to look at another one with an exponent. So this one I've thrown in a variable. We kind of want to make a general case for these types of problems. So what we got is 3y squared minus c equals 0. Again, doesn't matter that's a variable. Last example I did, I had a number. Variables, numbers, the math is still the same. That's the important thing. So, what I got to do? I got to get y on its own ultimately. Solve for y. Well, reverse bed mass, I look, I got to do subtraction, then the multiplication, then the exponent. If I'm going to cancel out a uh, subtraction, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to add c to both sides. So I get 3y squared equals c. Great, because those canceled. Well, now I got to get rid of the multiplication. To do that, I got to divide both sides by 3. So I get y squared equals c over 3. And again, to get rid of a squared, you can think we take the square root or put to the power of 1 half. In this case, I'll use the square root because it is the same as square as the point of 1 half. So we get y and then remember, we get two solutions. Because square root c over 3 squared would give c over 3. But minus the square root of c over 3 times the minus the square root of c over 3 or squared would also give c over 3. So, it might sound ugly, me reading out those numbers or saying those numbers, but these would be the two solutions and whatever c turned out to be. Remember, it doesn't matter that it's a variable. The math was the same. Later on, we might plug in a number. Maybe later we say c is 27. Well, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Square root of that is 3. So 3 and minus 3 would both be the solutions. So this just shows you a general case and hopefully helps. Thank you.